Why, hello everybody, it is Kyle here from Unboxed Autos, and today we are looking here at the 2022 Genesis GV70. Now, the GV70 is uh, an all new model for the Genesis brand, and it's really meant to capture the sportier side of the luxury crossover segment. It competes with vehicles from the Germans like the BMW X3, Audi Q5, and Mercedes Benz GLC. Now, what Genesis is done here is create a, uh, a very a very nice looking vehicle and we're going to go ahead and explore some of these design elements now before we get to that though i just want to let you know that the 2022 gv70 it starts at forty one thousand five hundred dollars now that is for the 2.5 t liter I'm sorry, the 2.5T, which is a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder turbocharged engine with all wheel drive. Now that does come as standard, all wheel drive is standard across the entire lineup. Now, even this, that 2.5 uh, liter turbo inline four still actually comes with 300 horsepower. And again, that's starting at about $41,500. Now, if you want, you can step all the way up to the 3.5T, which is a twin turbocharged V6 engine, all wheel drive, of course. Now that starts at $53,000. $100. So definitely a bit of a price jump, but that does come with 375 horsepower. But for the purposes of the video today, since we have here the 2.5T model all-wheel drive, we're going to go ahead and talk about this one. Now, uh, standard comes with 18-inch alloy wheels, the 14.5-inch touchscreen display, and for collision avoidance assist. You can next step up to the select package. Now, the select package is going to cost you an additional four thousand dollars but it is going to include 19 inch early wheels a panoramic sunroof and a lexicon premium audio system with 18 speakers we'll of course be talking all about the features and how relevant they are and comparing them to uh, other vehicles in the segment now again the select package is four thousand more dollars Above that, which is what we have here today, is the advanced package. That's $8,150. So it brings the price of the car right to about $50,000. Now, we have leather seating surfaces, surround view monitor, and remote start parking assist, which, which I will show you guys. It is uh, it's an interesting feature. And we'll definitely go ahead and uh, demonstrate that. Then all the way at the top range, we have the Sport Prestige, which is above this model, 21 inch wheels, leather seating services, of course, with mesh inserts inside the door panels. And then it has additional driving assistance features as well. Now, what I want to really focus on with this vehicle is just the elegant design. If you look at the rear back panel here, just how it slopes down, it is it looks absolutely phenomenal especially here with these with these different creases here and door panels how it's shaped it's just definitely in my opinion one of the best looking luxury crossovers in the segment and that's really saying something there are a lot of nice looking vehicles here in this segment so i think uh, genesis did just an absolutely outstanding job from a styling perspective on the GV70 here. Obviously it sits one step below the GV80, which is currently the range topping SUV from the Genesis brand. Obviously that's a Korean, Korean automaker. We have a good amount of space here in the trunk area as well. We also, as you can see here, have the dual inlet exhaust piping um, and it's vertical instead of being more horizontal, which I think does add a nice touch. So, you know, good amount of room, 60-40 split, uh, so you can fold the seats down in uh, a different arrangement there. Average amount of space. Uh, we do have automatic close, of course. There's also another button there to lock it as well at the same time. If you're leaving the car, you just hit the lock button. It closes it and locks the car all at the same time. As you can see, though, we have the four-wheel drive badge, GV70 badge, and then the Genesis there as well. So, yeah, I mean, really a phenomenal looking vehicle. We'll step up here to the front. The hood overhang here is just, uh, it's really nice here. Nice little details you guys can see here. And this, this lips over the front here, the headlamps, headlamps here, all LEDs, of course. We have the daytime running light accents, which look very spiffy. And then we have a different sort of tone here of grill color. So it adds a nice contrast between the body color and the grill color. So a nice distinctive design element. 
These here are the 19 inch wheels. Then we're gonna go ahead though, and we're going to turn on the lights here so you guys can get a get an idea of what it looks like. So I think the two layer daytime LED running lights really do a nice job at creating a strong presence for this vehicle. It's a very identifiable as a Genesis, which I think is important. Now, since this is an SUV, we'll go ahead and show you the back seat here. As you can see, we have the nice door panels inside here. There is even a step above this with like a leather mesh inserts. This is not that, this is actually uh, more of the standard version. So, silk's very nice. We have your sunshade for the rear passengers, always good to have. And yeah, it's a, you know, a nice size back seat. I'll go ahead and say I'm 5'10". Plenty of room. Plenty of space, as you can see here. Very roomy. Love the panoramic view sunroof. It's very nice. There's also this nice burgundy leather color that we have here. So they give you a ton of different exterior color options. And even in the rear here, we have this really nifty design first off but then also uh, led lighting inside there which looks really cool again these are the 19 inch wheels we can get the upgraded 21s definitely gives the vehicle more of a presence they are riding here on michelin touring tires so they give you the higher end tire to start with again same thing here for the door panels uh, nice quality this up here could be a little bit, little bit a little bit higher quality up here. Uh, it's it's a bit plasticky. It could be a little more rubbery. Uh, would give it a nicer, a nicer feel. But overall, the interior, the design, the concept, it just looks really, really nice. So we're gonna go ahead now and step inside. So on the interior, as you guys can see, we continue that design aspect of that just really flowing design. Uh, everything is geared towards the driver just a little bit. Again, this this vehicle, the, the purpose of this vehicle is to be a sportier, more dynamic version of the GV80. And uh, it does, you know, it does a very nice job at, at keeping a, a smaller, more compact, more athletic uh, package here. So we'll go ahead and start the vehicle. So uh, one thing here that is on, um, not so this is again, not the top trim level. We actually have this uh, analog display here on the left-hand side, and then a fully digital display here on the right-hand side. It's a little bit strange. I'm not quite sure how I, how I feel about that, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, but it does display all the information here on the fully digital side that you'd want to know. We have uh, the all-wheel drive system. We can see the power distribution. It actually can uh, put all the power in the rear wheels. Uh, so. It definitely gives it a sportier driving dynamic. Uh, and then of course, if it detects slippage, uh, it will go ahead and deploy all four wheels. So, you know, again, standard uh, standard stuff there, information. Um, right here though, we can change the page. We have our driver assistance view here. So when you're going on driving on the highway, it will show you your distance between other vehicles uh, and it will let you know when everything's engaged. So the vehicle will do its lane keep assist. It will show you all of that on that page. Navigation, of course, turn by turn directions when you have that enabled. And the steering wheel design here, absolutely love it. Uh, not only is it a unique design for this steering wheel, but it's just very high quality. Even though this is, you know, a step below the GV80, they still kept all the quality, and uh, that's something that's definitely appreciated here. Again, just even the detail on these on these buttons, very high quality absolutely love love the feeling of them the touch it's a heavy touch it takes a lot to uh, to work the button definitely gives it you know a very high quality luxurious feel on the left hand side here we have our, our my favorite button engine stop start off so you can turn that off it's not very obtrusive uh, in this in this powertrain it really uh, you can't tell too much but again you know with the heat the air conditioning i like it all to stay on all the time so i go ahead and turn that off as well and again, the interior, the door panel stitching right here that we have feels very good. The door handles made out of a brushed aluminum. And they are, they are plastic, but on the outside they have a little bit of a aluminum 
brushed coating on them, which does give them a nicer feel and obviously makes them look better. We have all of our window controls here. Uh, again, not, not skimping, not plasticky looking at all, not plasticky feeling. Very nice, again, brushed aluminum uh, feel to them. So yeah, as far as the door panel from here down, it's uh, very good. And again, this is a nice design element throughout the entire interior. It scoops up here, goes over the dash, and this trim here, as you can see right here, and flows right through. Just a very nice sweeping dashboard. And then, of course, here you have your 14.5 inch display. And depending on the weather, the time of day, this changes. It displays navigation info here on the right hand side as you're driving down the road. It just, it's just a very elegant, very calming display. And you can uh, go ahead and touch it if you, if you choose. It's quite far away from the driver. It's really meant to be used via this touch control down here. So there are a few different buttons like home, and then you can go ahead and, uh, and move it accordingly, depending on you know which uh, section you want to go ahead and look at. So you can adjust all of the seats here as well, which is, which is nice. So lots of functionality in here. What we can also do is uh, even you know adjust all of the climate settings. So again, lots and lots of different menus here. It's really easy uh, once you get to know the system to navigate it, which is something that's obviously important. We, of course, have, again, our home screen. Now, the media system here, the Lexicon Premium Audio System, gives us several different options. So you can go ahead and do your surround. You can do your audience. You can do on stage, which I found to be my favorite. And then reference. Now, this system is good. It's a good system. Um, however, I find that there are some other systems from Mercedes-Benz and Audi, which I prefer just a little bit more on their premium side of things than this particular system. Now, the GV80 has an even more powerful, larger system, which is just phenomenal. This system is good. Uh, and you won't you won't be wanting more. You you will definitely appreciate this system, but it's just not quite as good as some of the competitors. Now again, very crisp, very clear, moderately powerful. That's I guess where I'd say uh, this car loses a few points on the audio system. Is this and it's powerful? How powerful the audio system is? The ones uh, from some of the competitors just offer a bit more surround, a bit more depth to the sound. But again. Great, great interior. Everybody will, uh, will be impressed by the quality and the design. So now let's go ahead and take this guy out on the road. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and put this in drive. Now, a cool aspect of this is this neat rotary dial shifter. Uh, it actually has a, uh, a glass interface here, and uh, it's really cool to look inside there. It changes colors, too, uh, depending on if you're in reverse, uh, neutral drive. Uh, so that's neat. So cool little design aspects there. So we have our drive and we're gonna get going. Now the vehicle here obviously again it's meant to be on the on the sportier side and it is and I, I am really truly impressed with this base powertrain and just how how well uh, that that power comes through. You get 300 horsepower and uh, around a little, a little under 300 in torque, and it all comes in at 1500 RPMs. So you really don't find yourself wanting for more power, even in the base powertrain, which I was personally surprised about. Normally, I'm always, you know, a fan of more power, but in this application, again, I, I was truly surprised at just how well this vehicle uh, handled itself with that base powertrain. Again, that is a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder turbocharged engine. And it's very, very impressive. Again, 300 horsepower out of that, a lot of power. Especially for a vehicle of this size with the all wheel drive, feels great. Uh, the transmission, very crisp shifts, love the transmission. Uh, again, this provides great response. Even, you know, in comfort mode as we are right now, it uh, just really does a phenomenal job at, at holding the right gear, finding the right patterns to stay in. 
So as far as drivability goes, I really, you know, it's, it's a phenomenal vehicle. I will say the, the four-cylinder uh, could be just a tad quieter, and just a little bit quieter, just a tiny bit more uh, insulation from the engine into the cabin for this, in, for this engine, I say, uh, would be one of the few critiques that I would have about, about it. But as you can see here, you know, everything sort of surrounds the driver. Controls are, are placed towards you. We have this large screen, and we go to the home button, and go home again. We'll get that really nice 14 inch, 14.5 inch display. As you just kind of drive around here on the road, it's uh, just really a uh, very pleasant vehicle to, uh, to be driving in. So, yeah, you know, again, we look forward to driving the more potent twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 engine, which makes 350 horsepower, so 50 more horsepower, and obviously a bit more torque as well. Uh, but this engine, again, guys, very impressive. So I think as far as, you know, drivability goes, a very soft, composed ride. When you put it in sport mode, uh, really does, you know, hold the road nicely. You know, again, impressed on that. Great brake feel, too. So again, it's from, a, from a driving perspective, this car scores lots of points. There really are very few things I would change about it. So, yeah, it's a really, really great vehicle. You know, again, at the price point here, the quality, the warranty, I'd say this is definitely one of the top choices in the segment. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that, you know, you enjoyed my video review here on the 2022 Genesis GV70 2.5 inline 4. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.